Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be doing the uh, what I got for Christmas video, so, and I'm just, before I start, i like to say that it has been one year since I've gotten an HD camera, so, this is, uh, different, uh, being able to shoot in HD like this. It takes a lot more memory on the computer, that's for sure, but it takes a lot longer to upload, but it turns out a lot better. So the first thing I'm going to start with is, uh, this. This is a Uniden, uh, VX75. XLT uh, Bearcat scanner. So I have this thing programmed uh, so that these two, one and two, are the uh, railroad channels, and three and four are the local police and fire and stuff. I was getting some pretty good uh, transmissions off the trains earlier, but I was going to set that up on the shelf. So if the if it does go off, we'll hear it. Um. Two bottles of uh, smoke fluid here. It's the premium stuff. I guess we're going to be doing some uh, testing on this versus the old uh, stuff that came in this bottle here. Like that. So, more stuff working our way in here. We have uh, an SC2 switch Thank controller. Well, there's something. Okay, so that was interesting. Uh, Hello, Sherman uh, Riley, right? Okay, so that sounds like, yeah, that was a Union Pacific, uh, transmission there, so, yeah, the next thing I got was an SC2, and uh, I already have this partially wired the way I want it, so, I have it wired up with the two switches on the uh, outside now, what it is, is it's a switch and accessory controller, and I'm gonna wire it so that I'll run these two switches, like I said, and the two switches I already have, and then I'm gonna do the two electromagnetic uncouplers that I have over on this side of the layout. Now, you'll see that this thing's sitting here. This is one of the uh, Lionel elevated trestle things. And what uh, we're going to do with these things, I've got four boxes of them, so about 40 of them. We're going to go around the... Must be pretty cold outside, 39 degrees. But, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go around this inside track with these things. And I'm going to elevate a uh, 
elevated siding in these tracks. Okay, so like, I have a uh, 036 manual switches already that I'm going to use. And I'm going to put them uh, right where that red flat car is. And we're going to go over, hopefully anyway, I might have to move some stuff, but I'll make it work. The uh, main point of this, though, is to put in a couple of a pair of switches here. Now, what I'm going to do with these is put them off of the existing switches there. We're going to come off of the existing, existing switches and go pretty much straight out underneath the tracks. So, the, uh, I'll go under it, and it'll just be like a spur track. It won't be a complete siding. It'll have a bumper on the end. Um, and the point of it will be so that I can park engines there. Like right now, you see I have engines parked over on the siding and uh, engines on the track. And I'm going to have to get some track, I think, and power the, uh, and get the... So, I'm going to have to get some parts, I think, in order to be able to turn the power on and off on those uh, siding, little spur tracks. So, that's the plan with that stuff anyway. And these switches here that I got, they are the command control uh, switches, meaning that they already are set up. So, that all I have to do is program them, and I can throw them with the remote, and they're... I think they're like an extra twenty dollars or something like that to get that in there. Um, it's not terrible anyway, but that's what I'm going to use. And I will not need any of these ugly uh, controllers sitting around anymore. Like I got all these a couple uh, track things and the uh, little switch things and all that. So anyhow, it's, that must get pretty good. Uh, reception with that scanner when it's up on a shelf like that because I can't get hardly anything when it's down any lower in any other part of the house but these things work pretty good up there <laughs> so anyway that's about it for now guys bye